Hi, Shane Sirson. It's Tip Tuesday. I'm going to give you a quick tip about hi-hat clutches. All my life, a hi-hat clutch, if you don't know what that is, that's a thing that holds the hi-hat in place. The, uh, as I've used it, the bottom always comes loose and the symbol gets loose while I'm playing everything. And over time, um, I actually ended up gravitating toward a couple of options. One of them is, a this is a hi-hat clutch by Remo. And it's spring-loaded, so the pressure comes from the top. The bottom piece just spins and locks in place. So it can't move and it comes loose while you're playing. And it's spring-loaded from the top. So you can use that. That's been a big favorite of mine. Um, and again, it's available from Remo. Another one that I've used quite a bit on certain stands because it's adjustable to the size of the post. This one is from Gibraltar. And it has a locking mechanism on the bottom that locks in. You push in, pull it out, and then you use the clutch as normal. All right. And then when you get this, get it where you want it, you push that back in. You can see it won't go on. You push that down, you push it back in, and the bottom's locked on. Okay. And that's your typical hi-hat clutch except for the locking bottom. So this one, a Gibraltar, and this one from Remo are both favorites. I'll, I'll try to hold that where you can see it better. Okay, that's the Gibraltar one with a locking bottom. This is the Remo one with a locking bottom. This spring loaded from the top. So you can, once you get it set, you just twist this down until you get the pressure that you want. I don't like to have my hi-hat symbol super tight. Uh, sometimes if I'm playing a, a particular gig that's like a, either Latin or like a funk gig where I want everything to be a little bit more tight, then I'll, I'll tighten the top symbol down a little bit more. So, but your standard clutch comes with these two uh, spinning screws, or what do you want to call them, almost like a spinning washer that lock into each other to kind of keep it from loosening. And then, but the problem is the bottom is the one that always comes loose. Uh, DW makes one that has a drum key uh, thing on it, and I've got one laying around here somewhere like that. <clears throat> Everybody's kind of tried to approach that idea. But uh, this is a, an old clutch here. I don't have the screw on it right now. And I've set it up a different way. What I've done, I've got it upside down right now. I've got one of those spinning washers, the felt washer, the felt washer, and another spinning washer. And then putting the bottom on to tighten. And usually the bottoms will only go so much and they're, they're tight. So once they're there, if you'll take that extra screw and set it up this way, you can spin that down to make this not come loose while you're playing. This one will be up top, this one will be down low. Uh, I don't remember where I saw this, but um, it actually works in keeping that bottom from coming off as much. I'm not gonna say it's perfect and it never happens. I'm saying it come, doesn't come off as much. I actually use this on the right side of the kit and uh, I'll put it back on for you now. I'll show you how I do it. So uh, there's the bottom of the, the screw in cap. Here's one of those, um, I guess you'd call it a, a screw type washer and then, and then one felt washer. So now from the, from the top of the thing, I have the top of the hi-hat, the one washer, screw washer, one felt washer. And now on the, on the right side of my kit, I actually have one of these uh, Sabian APX ozone. It's like an effect symbol on top of a 16 inch crash. This is a 16 inch symbol and it, it's set up like hi-hat. So I put that through, I put the felt on, now I take this screw, uh, screwing washer, whatever you want to call it, and screw that down. Okay. And then I put this bottom on and it will go to a certain point and then lock it. Then I turn it over and I screw this down to get my tightness on how tight I want that on. And then you probably can't see it in the photo. So I just Put it on there. This is a kind of an effects I had. Just have a really trashy sound. So my I, my point is, if you'll take these two little washers and separate them, put one on the top, put your felt, put your next felt, put your next washer, and then put your cap on. Once you get that on, tighten that washer down to the cap, and it will keep it uh, in place for a longer amount of time and not come undone while you're playing. So, and... Uh, you know, I'll put this on a symbol too. So you see, this is the Gibraltar one. So I don't need to do that on this because it's got a locking bottom. So here it is. 
put it through. Make sure there's always felt on either side of the symbol. I've seen people set that up wrong. Push this on, push it down, it locks in place. There you go. And I'll put that back over here. And then, done. So again, Remo, there's a Gibraltar one. Uh, any of the other ones that use the basic screw on bottom, if they've got two of those screwing washers, you can separate those. And once you put that bottom on, tighten that washer to it, and it keeps it from coming loose while you're playing. Give it a try. See if it works for you.